Hey everybody, there's Ricky. It's about his bedtime. He kind of settles down after around seven o'clock or so. And I'm Vince, and we're still in Pahrump. And we're hanging around here to our next uh, venture. But you know, I made a, a video about how I make my coffee. And I thought I'd make a fast video how I make my one of my favorite drinks for the evening. It's a little nicer in the fall and in the winter time, but it's also just as delicious this time of year, even though it's about 85 degrees today in Pahrump. It's a pretty hot day. <clears throat> On creature comforts, I splurge because I like it. I like to have what I like. And so the first thing I have to do, and I'm gonna be using my coffee machine for this, and that's it right there. You know, this wonderful little contraption. You just plug this baby in. And you fill it up with water. Now, bear with me a minute. You know, I made a mention I buy all my water to drink. All the other water I get. I mean, I buy my bot bottled water to drink, and all the other water I buy on the machines. Uh, I don't, I just use that for Ricky. Sorry, Rick. I do love you, though. And I wash and, you know, take showers with it, but I, I don't drink it. And it's okay. I think if you're getting your water from, I think if somebody mentioned they get their waters from a drinking fountain or something inside a building, getting city water, that's kind of protected and, you know, it's probably okay, but I prefer buying a bottle of water. Okay, it's plugged in. I gotta turn on the light, and so that's gonna flash there. You can kind of see it. Now then, here's the key. Here's my favorite drink. I keep them up here. Starbucks hot chocolate. And I have a special ingredient, so hang on, I'll show you what I use. And it's, it's like freaking delicious. I, I limit myself to one of these, you know, every other day or so, but I could literally drink two or three of these in one night. So you pop these little things, and if you can believe that, there's a cup of hot chocolate in this thing. What a great invention. Okay, so the light stopped flashing, so, whoops, I always turn it off. All right, now then that funny noise starts, and boom, you watch. I'm gonna get a cup of hot chocolate out of it. Not coffee, but hot chocolate. Kind of zoomed in a little too far. There we go. There it comes. Starbucks hot chocolate. I also buy the uh, the other stuff. I think it's called Minute Maid or Minute something or Missy. And it's okay, but it's not as good as this. Of course, I would prefer to make a, a regular hot chocolate myself with cocoa and all that kind of stuff, but. When you're living in a van, you gotta put up with certain things. Right, Rick? He doesn't care, he thinks I'm nuts. And I am. All right, so I'm gonna get my special ingredient right here. Now what I buy, this is from Walmart and plenty of stores sell it. This is a knockoff Bailey's. It still is made with Irish whiskey and, and cream and it's 17% alcohol and it's delicious. But it's only about 12 bucks compared to a Bailey's Irish cream, which is about 18 or so. But you know, Walmart sells another one in a different kind of bottle of this for 10.95, just about the same stuff. But this particular Walmart, Walmart and Prump didn't have it. But the Walmart I was in, I don't know, I can't, I can't keep track of anything where I am anymore. They had it like a few weeks ago and it was really great. It might've been in Needles maybe. Okay, now the funny noise stopped. Then it's gonna like do its final spit. You okay, Rick? He's listening to me, his eyes are open. He's just wondering, who the hell am I talking to? These are all the people, these are your fans. They're not my fans. They don't wanna see me. They'd rather see you, but you're tired. All right, let me put this down, okay. Now I got my hot chocolate out. Can you see that? Hmm. 
And one of the keys, I never washed my cup. <laughs> you know, gross. Then you pour a healthy, healthy blast of this in there. Hmm. And that's my LASIK vision. All right, now I'm going to let you see me. Hopefully I'm in view. I can't tell. Oh, that is so good. Just think on a uh, fall night or a, uh, during the winter, it's really good. But even now, it's 82 degrees in here. And with low humidity, 82 isn't bad with a fan blowing. I don't even know if you can see me. The fan's blowing over my shoulder, so it's, it's pretty good. And believe me, Ricky wouldn't be in here if it was too hot. He would be laying outside. But he came in about an hour ago. Hmm. So buy the knockoff Bailey's cream. Great in your coffee, too. But there's no way that Bailey's can be $18 and the knockoff 10 or 12 and it's just this good. That's kind of a ridiculous price. So it just shows you how much money Bailey's is making, and I bet it's not owned by some little company anymore. So, <clears throat> so if you like hot chocolate with some Bailey's Irish cream in it, <laughs> check it out. And it's great in your coffee in the morning, too. Okay, Rick. You got anything to say? Rick didn't do, didn't do too much today. Just a couple walks. It's pretty hot out there. We're pretty covered. I got my awning up and hopefully facing a decent direction. But not much you can do in this heat. So we just kind of lay around. And I keep a fan blowing on us. Oh, that hot chocolate's so good. And then this is Ricky's. Ricky's head towel. I get this wet, wet and I put it on his head. He was just wearing it a short while ago. All right, kid, you want to say anything? All right, hey, thanks for watching. See you next time.